We have gone too far from nature into this machine-oriented, stressful life and as a result have polluted not only our environment but our own bodies. Now, let us take a look at obesity. Obesity has become a global concern of epidemic proportions. Obesity knows no boundaries, attacking all age groups and causing many of the same problems in all the age groups affected. Although people can have different body shapes, the most common ones are apple and pear shaped. Fat is stored in different places depending on what body type you are. Apple shaped bodies have fat concentrated around the waist and abdomen. Pear shaped bodies around the hips and thighs. Body shape also plays a part in determining what health risks a person may develop. A person with an apple body type has a high risk of developing cancer, heart disease and diabetes while a pear body shape increases the possibility of arthritis. We are living in a world of processed and highly refined foods, which are devoid of nutrients but high on glycemic index. In short, food made up of empty calories causing weight gain and dietary deficiencies simultaneously. Examples of such foods are deep fried foods, non-vegetarian foods and aerated drinks and more. In contrast to what the general public thinks, obesity is not a middle-aged problem. It can strike at any age and often sets in during childhood itself. It can begin when indulgent mothers overfeed their children with non-essential foods and candies. It is medically proven that 90% of overweight children end up obese individuals later on. An improper diet is not the only cause for obesity. Lack of exercise, untimely meals and stress are all contributing factors for obesity. A major part of the youth obesity problem is caused by a shift in children's activities. Instead of playing outdoors and getting exercise, children are often hooked to TV, computers and video games. These kind of activities can promote obesity. The secondary causes include hypothyroidism, less production of thyroid hormone, hypogonadism, defective secretion of male hormones, polycystic ovarian syndrome, ovarian cysts in females, insulinoma, a tumor of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas, Cushing syndrome, a disease of the adrenal glands in which the gland produces more steroids. Using steroids for a long time, many of the secondary causes are also related to bad lifestyle choices. Through natural cure treatments, diet, and yogic exercises, we can correct most of these complications. Obesity is the root cause of so many complications. Problems related to heart and circulation like high blood pressure and heart attack, paralysis, arthritis, spondylosis, fatty liver and gallstones, diabetes mellitus and so many other acute and chronic problems including gastritis, constipation, piles. Which type of body would you love to have? This is a million dollar question. Scientists say on an average a man requires 3000 calories of food per day whereas a woman requires an average of 2200 calories. Even if a person sits quietly without doing any physical and mental work, he requires about 900 calories. Depending upon the physical and mental activity, 
our body converts carbohydrates and fats and proteins into energy. Whenever we eat more than the required calories, it is preserved in the form of fat in the body. To keep fit, limit your food intake to 1,500 calories per day. Eat healthy. Do regular brisk exercise for one hour a day. Periodically fast on juices or mono diet for one week. Drink two to three liters of water every day. Enema and detoxification intermittently. Nature cure treatments increase your metabolic rate and reduce your weight. Cold hip bath, hot hip bath, steam bath. Sauna bath, oil massage, deep tissue massage, infrared sauna. Yoga is truly a blessing in disguise because it not only prevents but cures many diseases. Let's take a look at some common asanas which will be of tremendous help when done correctly under proper guidance. Surya Namaskar. Pada Hasta Asana Kati Chakrasana Paschimotanasana Vajrasana Pranayama and Kriyas Kapalabhati Nadi Shuddhi Bhastrika Surya Bhedana You need determination and be disciplined to keep your weight under control. Blood is the river of life. It is a specialized body fluid that delivers all the necessary substances to and carts waste products away from the body's cells. The pumping action of the heart circulates the blood through the body via blood vessels known as arteries and veins. Our heart starts functioning even before our birth. The heart pumps as much as 5 liters of blood through our body every minute. The circulatory system is a delicately balanced structure and any persistent deviation can cause lasting damage. One of the most common and silent threats to this balance is hypertension or high blood pressure. Blood pressure is a measurement of the force against the walls of your arteries as the heart pumps blood through the body. It is measured in millimeters of mercury and is given as two numbers the systolic and diastolic blood pressure. The systolic is the pressure in the arteries as the heart contracts. The diastolic is the pressure as the heart relaxes. Normal blood pressure should be around 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury. High blood pressure occurs when the arteries become narrow due to hardening or the formation of plaque known as atherosclerosis. When this happens, the arteries lose elasticity and fail to expand when the heart pumps blood, increasing the amount of pressure required to keep blood circulating. This is hypertension. 
the heart, in response to this increased pressure, must pump harder to maintain normal blood circulation. This causes immense progressive strain on the heart muscles, which may ultimately result in heart attacks. What are its signs and symptoms? In mild to moderate essential hypertension, there will be no symptoms. Some patients will have symptoms like headache, confusions, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and visual disturbances, retinal problems, copper or silver wire appearances, and hemorrhages. Some of the complications of hypertension are ischemic heart disease, cardiac arrest, congestive cardiac failure, stroke, chronic renal failure, hypertensive retinal complications. If you are careful and maintain a healthy lifestyle, you can reduce your chances of developing hypertension. Here's what you can do. Reduce your weight. Reduce the intake of sugar and salt. Say no to tobacco, alcohol and pan masala. Reduce your stress level by practicing yoga and pranayama regularly. Consume more fibrous and potassium rich vegetables and fruits. Vigorous and brisk exercise like walking for at least an hour for four days in a week at least. Drink a minimum of three liters of water a day. We have gone too far from nature into this machine-oriented, stressful life and as a result have polluted not only our environment but our own bodies. This has resulted in accumulation of morbid matter in our systems and needs detoxification. So, return to nature. Nature cures and helps you not just to prevent hypertension but also its complications. Some simple and humble naturopathy therapies can help you, such as chest pack, cold spinal bath, ice massage, reverse oil massage, enema, mud pack on abdomen. Yes, yoga is very important. Practice regularly the following asanas. Kati Chakrasana. Trikonasana, Ardha Matsendrasana, Shavasana, Nadi Shuddhi, Brahmari, Sheetali. Meditation and Deep Relaxation Exercise. Deep relaxation exercises de stress. Everything said and done, keep yourself away from six sins. Sedentary life, stress. Smoking, salt, sugar, spirit or alcohol. Not just for preventing and controlling hypertension, but also for a healthy and happy life. Among all the diseases that we hear about today, diabetes is the most commonly heard term. Diabetes or diabetes mellitus is a silent killer as it can remain undiagnosed for many years, gradually affecting many vital functions of the body. Before we get to know about the disease itself, its causative factors and treatment modalities, let us understand some facts about this current global rage. According to the World Health Organization, 6.4% of the world's population, that is, 285 million people around the world, are currently suffering from this silent killer. And the figure is expected to touch 438 million by 2030. And guess what? 70% of the world's diabetic population is in the developing countries and India ranks world number one in diabetes. Still worse, by 2030, India is well on the way to becoming the world capital of diabetes. Diabetes, therefore, is one of the largest causes for premature illness and deaths worldwide. Despite the best research efforts around the world, there is still no known cure for diabetes. Well, now, after all those alarming facts, here comes the good news. Diabetes can be prevented 
and controlled by lifestyle modifications that include a healthy diet and regular exercise. Now let us understand what exactly diabetes is. Diabetes is a metabolic disorder of the pancreas that causes high blood sugar or blood glucose levels in the body. Pancreas, a small gland located behind the stomach and below the duodenum. Pancreas also has the islets of Langerhans, which secrete a hormone called insulin. Insulin flows through the bloodstream along with the glucose, RBC and WBC, and acts like a key, allowing glucose to enter every cell of the body. The glucose is then converted to energy required for our body. When the body fails to produce or utilize the insulin that is produced, diabetes occurs. There are two major types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is caused when all the insulin producing cells in the pancreas have been destroyed and thus there is no insulin secretion. Due to this, body cells are unable to absorb the glucose available in the bloodstream, thereby resulting in high blood sugar levels. Patients suffering from type 1 diabetes need to take lifelong insulin injections. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes wherein the body cells have a resistance to the insulin. The insulin fails to facilitate the absorption of glucose into the cells. Thus, the glucose remains in the bloodstream, causing high blood sugar levels. Although it can occur at any age, it is common in people who are overweight and have sedentary lifestyles. The symptoms of diabetes are frequent urination, excessive thirst, excessive hunger, unexplained loss of weight, fatigue, sudden changes in vision, tingling or numbness in hands and feet, poor sleep, irritability, dry skin, delayed healing of wounds, recurrent infections. It is important to understand that certain conditions predispose us to diabetes and they are obesity. This not only reduces the insulin secretion but also causes impaired insulin action at the tissue level. Hypertension, increased cholesterol levels, lack of physical activity, stress, hereditary causes. If one parent has diabetes, then their children are 50% more likely to have diabetes. However, if both parents are affected, the chances of children having diabetes are 100%. Like we have already said, diabetes is a silent killer and some of the complications are stroke, heart attack, Diabetic retinopathy, progressive irreversible blindness. Diabetic nephropathy, which in simple terms means kidney failure. In fact, nephropathy is one of the primary risks of a long-term diabetic patient. It is necessary to learn how we can prevent diabetes. Many diabetologists and subject experts do agree that by adopting naturopathic ways of life and regular practice of yoga and other exercises could keep diabetes under control. Diet for prevention and control of diabetes. A diabetic patient's diet varies according to his sugar levels, insulin dependency, weight and physical activities. However, in most of the cases, the general formula is carbohydrates 60 to 65 percent, proteins 15 percent, fat 20 to 25 percent. These foods must be strictly avoided by diabetic patients. Eliminate completely the following diets. Sugar, sweets, refined carbohydrates like white flour, bakery foods, polished rice, oily and fried foods, 
other high carbohydrates like honey, sweet fruits like banana, chiku, sitafal, mango, dry fruits, etc. Smoking, alcohol, carbonated soft drinks, use moderately whole wheat, unpolished rice, other cereals and pulses, fibrous fruits, use little, salt, oil, vegetables grown underground like potato, use liberally, sprouts, soya products, all vegetables, high fiber, low calorie, nutritionally rich diet helps diabetics, raw vegetables, fruits like jamun, papaya, guava, sprouts, cooked vegetables, whole wheat bread, buttermilk, methi, karela, water. Regular practice of yoga prevents diabetes and specific asanas can also control blood sugar levels. Ardhakati Chakrasana Padahastasana Trikonasana Ardhamatsendrasana Vakrasana Bhujangasana Shavasana Pranayama is also highly recommended for the prevention and control of diabetes. Kapalabhati Nadi Shuddhi Bhastrika Brahmari Nature cure treatments help in activating pancreas, reduce weight, detoxify the body, relieving physical and psychological stress. It also improves and regulates digestive activity. Mud pack Mud bath Cold hip bath Massage GH pack Enema and colon hydrotherapy. Diabetes can be prevented and kept in control when diagnosed. The kidneys are wonderful organs and work like blood filters. They are made up of thousands of nephrons, the basic structural and functional units of the kidneys. Nephrons are the filters that remove the toxins from the blood, reabsorb what is needed for the body and excrete the rest as urine. In a diabetic patient, blood glucose levels are high, remain in the blood and act like a poison, damaging those nephrons, thereby gradually affecting their filtering function and causing kidney damage. Due to this, toxins remain in the blood and valuable proteins get eliminated. Kidneys are vulnerable to many diseases, the most life-threatening of them being kidney failure. The urine formed in the kidneys flows through tubes called urethras and is then stored in the bladder. When the bladder is full, 
the person feels the urge to urinate and the urine is eliminated through the urethra. The urine that is formed in the kidneys when tested is a good indicator of any kidney diseases. Let us take a look at some of the common problems related to the urinary system. Polyuria Excess of urination occurs in diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus and chronic kidney inflammations. Urinary incontinence Inability to hold urine Patient loses normal control of the passage of urine due to infection, prostate enlargement or injuries. What to do? Consult a urologist or a naturopath for the diagnosis and management. Urinary retention Partial obstruction to the outflow of urine causes stricture in urethra, prostate enlargement, tumor in the bladder where bladder muscles become thick. What to do? Consult a physician if there is complete urine retention. Do not eat or drink until relief is obtained. Take a long, continued, hot half bath. Cystesis. Inflammation of the bladder occurs due to bacterial infection in urethra and bladder. What to do? Drink plenty of water. 12 to 16 glasses of liquids a day, particularly tender coconut water, barley water, fenugreek tea, fruit juices, 3 to 4 times a day. Apply fomentations over the abdomen, 3 times a day for 12 to 15 minutes. Hot half bath for 12 to 15 minutes twice a day. Pyelitis and pyelonephritis, infection of the kidney, passing urine infected with bacteria. If the infection occurs frequently and becomes chronic, destruction and degeneration of the kidney tissues may progress to damage the kidneys. Pyelitis is a fatal condition and should be taken care immediately in consultation with a specialist. Bed rest give fomentation across the region of the back just above the hip bones. Increase the urine output to flush the system by drinking more liquids. Renal calculi, stone formation in the kidneys, causes frequent infections, stagnation of urine because of obstruction, abnormalities in the body's metabolism, presence of chemical substances like phosphates and urates, bladder calculi, stone formation in the bladder, causes inflammation of the bladder, obstruction in the urethra, sometimes due to prostate enlargement. What to do? Consult urologist. Take hot sitz bath, kidney pack. Drink plenty of fluids. Prostate enlargement, enlargement of the prostate gland. Urinary infections. Frequent infections result in painful urination, chills, high fever, headache, nausea and vomiting, tenderness over the kidneys and bladder. What to do? Identify the cause of infection through repeated urine examination and culture tests. Drink plenty of fluids. Apply kidney pack two to three times a day. Here's how you can keep your kidneys and urinary system healthy. Drink 10 to 12 glasses of clean filtered water a day. Drink plenty of vegetable and fruit juices. Don't retain urine for a longer time. Wear clean underpants at all times. Avoid very high protein diets and highly fermented foods. Keep away from the sources of sexual infections. Consult a urologist or a naturopath for the diagnosis and management. The basic fact is that clean water is the only medicine to keep the kidneys healthy. Make sure that you drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. To make it simpler, live natural and eat natural. That should be your way of life.